Welcome back to Ravenfield. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking to see more and more in Ravenfield, right? It's something we've been playing for years on this channel, but something that I've never seen was uploaded to the workshop the other day. So it looks pretty standard, right? But look at this. There's something called mutators. And before we're gonna mutate the time spawning seven, it's just a sweet spot. Now mutators affect the game in a number of different ways. There's these three official ones like crosshair, adds a crosshair to your weapon. Sure, we'll click that. Name tags, why not? But there's this one from ooze1234. Oh my God, everybody's got a name. I mean, we knew this was going to happen, but it just seems a little bit crazy now that you see it. All aboard. So basically, what's gonna happen is the water's gonna rise. Okay, so what we're gonna do, look at this. It's gradually increasing. <laughs> so that means the water's gonna get up to those mountains. Now, if you want even more Warhammer 40K, I've gotta say a shout out to World of Warships and World of Warships Legends for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with World of Warships, it's a free to play game where you can command massive battleships, submarines, and my personal favorite, the destroyers. There's always something new in it with uh, weekly events, missions, and game updates that include this 40K one. So click the link in the video description below and use these invite codes for new players on PC and console. And if you're playing on console, World of Warships Legends offers controls and a user interface that's been adapted specifically for current consoles, providing a smooth, comfortable, and dynamic experience. You're also gonna get a number of Warhammer themed goodies, which include doubloon premium currency, seven days of premium account, premium ships, and Warhammer 40K skins for both the Imperium and Chaos. And not only will they be bringing in all new Warhammer 40,000 inspired commanders and patches, you're also gonna be able to modify your existing ship collection. Download and play World of Warships now. Link in the description, let's get into the action. I kinda wish we had some World of Warships mechanics in Ravenfield, but you know, if you can't do it, you can always enjoy World of Warships. But anyway, welcome back. We've got the water that's rising and it's just gradually increasing. So I feel like we've gotta make as much progress as is possible. The enemy's taking this flag point which is fine because this one's ultimately going to flood, right? We need to take the flags that are not going to be flooded early. I feel like we need to make extra priority on that. <laughs> the water has re- oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to start swimming soon. Imagine if this was your house. We need sandbags. That's what you need. Oh my gosh, if you could produce, build sandbags or like put in windows or some kind of a crafting building mechanic. This is absolutely wild. So at some point we're gonna have to swim, aren't we? <laughs> All right, I, need, I feel like we really need to take this one out, right? So our battle plan should consist of this. Defend the high points and attack the other one. This is what I love about Ravenfield is that from the beginning, it's always been highly modifiable. It supports the modding community, the modding community supports the game, and as a result, we get to experience absolutely crazy stuff. Do you, you guys want me to drive? This is so rare. I wish I could gimbal mount my face while I'm driving this. Oh my god! There's a lake! There's a freaking lake here now! This is amazing! So now check this out. That'd be an interesting feature that Ravenfield could put in the game is adjustable water height. Because then all of a sudden, normally you have to beach land over there. Now these little hexes make a little bit more sense in terms of blocking ships. I think the military base is the highest one and that, oh my goodness, Ronnie! <laughs> I think that right here, this spot is gonna be the highest spot. Uh, the aircraft carrier is a little bit low, so you, I feel like we're gonna see less and less people spawning over there. This might be over very shortly just because blue doesn't really have a chance there's too much low ground spawning points i'm kind of curious to see how this is going to affect other maps like desert oasis oh the runway is now no longer going to be usable this is nuts all right well oh and the amphibious attack craft over there has like a greater advantage okay so let's do a little bit of a survey here how many points are underwater? That one's actually pretty good. Eagle just captured the landing. Are we missile locked? I feel like if you could make Ravenfield like a disaster um, rescue simulator using this, like drop down your ropes and rescue people who are in houses and there's flooding, that would actually be a very fun little mini mode. Okay, we captured the harbor. It's funny that people are capturing the flag. 
So right here, I think, is going to be the last point to flood. So this is clearly the most valuable flag point. And it looks like my team's holding it. I'm going to do my best to make it over to the aircraft carrier. It's likely that we'll get taken out by an incoming plane, maybe a ramming helicopter, something like that. But I do want to see what's going on with the carrier because the carrier is slowly but surely sinking. So this is a very dangerous flyby. Unfortunately, you can't just be like a news neutral party, you know, like a news, uh, <laughs> a news crew or something silly like that. Nobody's banning the anti-aircraft batteries. Most people are just evacuating the aircraft carrier right now. This is absolutely incredible. Ooze1234, you have done something that I didn't ever think about in Ravenfield. And now that it's here, I just can't stop my imagination from going all the places that this could be used in Ravenfield. So you can see that the water's flooded the little right above my tail is where like the rear hangar is for like a lot of amphibious attack craft and over here there's some boats out there that they have to swim to the entire carrier whoa uh oh we gotta get out of here the locals are getting a little mad that their carrier's sinking oh my gosh i wish i had a repair button all right let's get out of here never mind well i think they want me to check it out no way <laughs> I can't even swim out there right now. And the water, as you can see, once again, slowly but surely rising. So here we go, guys. For those of you who've been watching Ravenfield videos in, and or playing the game, how do you think this flood mechanic could be magnified? Like, what else could be done? Here, we gotta stay out of their tracer fire range. Oh my gosh, look at the island chains just slowly. That mountain, yeah, you can see the military base. Is that about as tall as this? Maybe it is. I should have brought binoculars. There is that Zodiac out there. If no plane spawns, we're going to have to get out of here and we'll probably be able to... Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, we're out of here. Now, as we get out... <laughs> the aircraft carrier is literally sinking. Oh my gosh, that was just a perfect shot. Look at the boat just plopping out of the water over there. Look at that. See, here we go. This is the most valuable vehicle now because it can operate on the land and in the water. The amphibious armored personnel carrier. I love the like water effects. Oh God, we gotta, we gotta elevate. All right, boys, the president's here. I regret to inform you that global warming has taken a hold. The ice caps have melted. And as a result, the water level is rising. We don't know where it's going to stop. We just know we need to hold the high ground, which is, Probably up on that point there. Uh-oh. Planes flying overhead. Look at these guys swimming. They're swimming over to the aircraft carrier. And here it is. I want to see it, like, flood over the top of the command tower there. Nobody's attacking because they all have to swim to us. And they're really, really easy. It's like ducks in a pond, fish in a barrel. Either way, <laughs> they're incredibly easy. It's like D-Day, but in if they had to like swim towards you instead of using landing Higgins boats, you know what I mean? If Minecraft had like floating stuff, like if you could craft a bigger boat than just a little raft, a Noah's Ark mode would be pretty dope. Like rescue all the animals as the water floods. Oh, what's up guys? You're not doing anything over there. Maybe a little bit higher, just a little higher. There it is. All right, so we're getting sighted in. There's some weird stuff happening to that Zodiac. I'm not entirely sure what the issue is. No way! This used to be the Air Force Base for the Raven Army. 50,000 people used to work here. I wonder if I could swim into the helicopter. I don't think so. I don't know what to do. What would be cool if the AI could be optimized to where they had like survival instincts or it's like at least they would run up there or something like that. Hold on. Oh, almost gotcha. No freaking way. Oh my gosh, that destroyer got stuck under the aircraft carrier somehow. Look at them swimming. Well, that's my guy. This is just... This is wild. The houses are underwater. Okay, I think what would be necessary is I've got to use the scalpel, but I'm going to use the secret weapon, the Hydra. You guys remember when secret weapons were a thing? Like you had to go and explore and uh, find them in rare corners of the map. We need this to take out enemy air power. 
Yep, that's the Hydra. Oh, he, he... Well, you... You only have so many of those. Oh my god, he's, he's going on a bomber run on me. Oh, and he went away. I'm out of ammunition. Dang it. Uh-oh. The water's... The water's getting here. Guys, get out of that tower. You're gonna get stuck. All right, let's see the world. We just lost the Special Forces Operations Base. Or I guess Forward Operations Base? The Special Forces Forward Operating Base. Man, my Hydra's out of ammo. This is my anti-aircraft gun now. Oh! <laughs> what is that? That's incredible. And, and don't you love how nobody... <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening over there, but I'm glad it is. And don't you love how none of the AI are deciding to jump on that Zodiac attack craft? Okay. Rising water does some crazy things to the Zodiacs. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. Mr. Semtex explosives over there. This is definitely... I Okay, so if we press tab... Is his name Trapper? Okay, his name's Trapper? Trapper just surpassed me in kills because he's still out there just fighting the good fight and I haven't really been fighting in a while But that's how effective the APCs are on this map. This is absolutely incredible Seeing these palm trees underwater. Whoa I'm actually glad we put in the name tags because look This is what the map looks like and then you start panning to the left and you're like, where's my team? Oh they're trying to fish for sharks using themselves as chum. So I'm thinking right now what would be really cool is if you made a King of the Hill map where every team spawns on the low ground and then they move towards the middle and the elevation goes up and there's like one point. And once an area floods, cause wait, is that a blue guy swimming up to a red? <laughs> Look at these guys. They're able to use their guns, but that's just cause they're standing on top of the tower, but that's not gonna be viable very long. And so once your flag point spawn point floods, you can't spawn there anymore. And hopefully the AIs then like could be updated or programmed or whatever so that they could know that they have to continue moving up. Look at this guy, he's not even trying anymore. You, you just saw your friend just get domed. Okay, good. At least you're swimming. Ooh, and dodging, too. You're a wily one, aren't you? <laughs> Until you get hit by a high explosive round. I kind of want to get in that as it's jumping up. I don't know if it's possible. Carrier's almost underwater. Carrier has arrived. So Ebot's up there. He's in the ship. He must be driving the ship. He has a gunner. Oh, Ebot's driving. I don't know who the gunner is. Unfortunately, you don't see that on the name tags. Hey, how did, how did the, the ground start flooding? Can you explain that to me? Oh, a hacker did it? Okay. It's like when you're playing the... Who here has played the Worms franchise of games? I grew up playing Worms 2, Worms Armageddon. I play Worms WMD almost like once a week now with my friends. How is that machine gun firing? Someone explain that to me. That's illegal, sir. And it's like, you know when the timer runs out and the water starts rising and everybody it's racing to the top? This kind of feels like Worms. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you doing there? Get out of here, Bloon. Man, I'm running low on ammunition. I only have seven rounds left, and it looks like Blue might be. Is Blue swimming over here yet? Yeah, they are. Blue and red. <laughs> see, if you could use your dives, it'd be really funny to see everybody engaging close quarters combat. Oh my gosh. Nobody's using the APC. You better not take that. That's mine. All right, all aboard. I think I'm getting hit with high explosive rounds. I try to get these guys to enter my vehicle. I've got four people. No blue guys allowed. Oh, sorry, discount. I'm glad we secured this because we should be able to shoot down enemy aircraft too. If we can if we can lead the target and hit them accurately. Which is gonna be a little bit difficult. But once we take those out, let's see. What are their kill feeds? 19 clip? That's gotta be the fighter, I'm guessing. But I feel like once we take out their planes, we can call it a W for us. Come on! I've hit that like five or six times in three different passbys. Look at those bombs going, man. I wonder how many he's gonna get. Okay, so his name's Clip, right? He's at 20 right now. Does he hit anybody? Looks like he may... They just go right through the water. Hey, you can't be me, I'm me. That's right, there can be only one. Oh! He- Clip just went on a dive bomb mission and- and sacrificed his plane. That's one plane down. 
All right, let's see if we can't get on that hill. That hill might be a little bit taller. Ooh, it might, there might not be a real easy way up. Okay, so we've done it. The aircraft carrier is entirely underwater. All they have is their little radio communications antenna, radar, all of that stuff. Everything is underwater. The city's underwater. The airfield is underwater and you can still see helicopters just parked as if like nothing really happened. I think, I think like climate change and, and like, you know, the ice caps melting. I guess it would be more of a gradual thing over time, right? This is wild. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen in Ravenfield in quite a while. So hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Ravenfield. I want to say a big shout out and thank you once again to our sponsor, World of Warships and World of Warships Legends for sponsoring this video. Remember to check the link out in the video description below. It supports the channel and it gives you guys a lot of freebies in one of my favorite games. It's free to play. Amazing Warships.